Hello everybody, I'm Angela Benedict, Managing Director of Nation Education Consultants Private Limited. Today we have a special guest uh, with us, Dr. Benedict, who completed his uh, medicine from abroad. I have a few questions which will be useful for you, especially to the students and parents who is wishing to study abroad. Let's meet him. So why did you go to abroad? What did you study and where did you study? The course which I wanted to study was not available in India. Mm -hmm. It was available, but it was not available for my marks. It was not affordable for my parents to give that education here in India. That is the reason I went abroad. Okay. So where did I go? I went to Russia, Russian Federation in the year 1993. Not in scholarship. I paid my money. The average fees was around uh, 50,000 rupees per annum, including mm -hmm. hostel and food accommodation, everything. Okay. Uh, in the year 1993, mm -hmm. I went there to study medicine. So you completed your medicine from abroad. Is it recognized in India? Yes, it's recognized. Now and then also. But uh, back then it was uh, 1993 when I started my studies uh, and I completed in 2000. Uh, we don't have any qualifying examinations, mm -hmm. which means after you complete the course there, whatever you study there, you need to pass a qualifying examination here. Okay. Especially medical student, medical yeah. students. Medical students. For example, you study in here, you went, you're going to UK, uh, you study medicine in India, and that is MBBS, right? Yeah. So you go to UK, you write a PLAB, yeah. a Professional Linguistic Assessment Board Examination. And you have to write uh, an exam called USMLE in United USA. States if you want to enter. So each country has their own uh, type of uh, qualifying examinations, examinations. And I had to qualify at that time. There was not qualifying examination. So you, the only qualification is you study there, you return there, you come here, register and practice. So it was recognized. But right now you can study in any university abroad. Mm -hmm. There are more than 3,000 universities, okay, example, sir. for medicine alone, mm -hmm. and you can study there. And you have to look whether that particular college and course is recognized by the Indian government, mm -hmm. right now I'm talking about, okay, sir. and then you go. For example, if you want to go to pursue medicine, you go there, you study there, you come back, you have to write a, an exam called screening test, they call it uh, next, next exam, exam, exam now. nowadays. And uh, you have to register yourself with the local uh, government body, that okay. is uh, National Medical Council. And obviously you have to lo register yourself as a doctor in the local medical government. Okay, sir. So this is the process of rec recognition. So nowadays, those days, uh, the qualifying examinations were not, were not weren't there. there. So n when you, as a parent or a student, when you decide to go abroad mm -hmm. to study any course, make sure that course is recognized here. Mm -hmm. Whether directly without any qualifying examination or through a qualifying examination okay sir, and sure. if you want to become a doctor if you are going to russia china philippines or any other country abroad make sure you are prepared well and exactly. pass mm -hmm. the screening test which is being conducted after you complete the course okay sir, sure. otherwise you won't get your uh, registration here mm -hmm. so you'll be, you can work like a compounder only <laughs> got it sir got so it. We have to be very careful in that. Next. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Please give us a comparative explanation on Indian education and abroad education. Sir. I can't give you a total comparison, total explanation because I studied only medicine. See, mm -hmm. there is uh, engineering. Yeah. There is uh, management courses. Arts are there. Arts and science. Arts and science. Law, hotel yeah. management, catering, marine engineering. So, there are a lot of courses we are having. Uh, it's available. Okay. To go. I studied medicine. Obviously, the systems will be different. Why? Because is it better or not better? It still, again, it depends on the course. Engineering, for example, it might be better in India. So much better that even foreigners are coming here and study. For example, I am talking an example, okay, giving you just an example. There are courses which are better in India to study than going abroad. There are, m most of the courses are always better, having, they are having better exposure. The way of teaching itself. So, uh, not to go very deep, I will just give you only one example. Yeah. In India, we have a, in a classroom, either in school or class or a college, you will have minimum 50 to 80 to 100 students in yes a classroom. Yes, true, very true. All m colleges abroad, all the system of education abroad, in all leading countries, developed countries, USA, UK, USA, uh, Canada, Japan, New Zealand, Finland, uh, Australia, Russia, China, not China, I mean mostly the uh, Russian, Europe, European countries, and uh, they all have a student professor ratio of 1 is to 10, which mm -hmm. means in a class there will be m not more than 10 students. Okay. So the individual attention is there. So that is first thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing is they go not by memorizing things, okay. they go by understanding. I'm very sorry to tell, but the, some education systems of our Indian schools and colleges are not based on understanding. Yeah, very true. So a person will not grow his brain as a person should grow if he's not being taught through understanding. 
Understanding brings education. Memorizing, copying, replicating creates machines. Yeah, understood, sir. Understood. So, you are a machine or a human being? Mm, I think I'm a half and half. Half and half. So, you have to provide both. So, understanding is the main concept of uh, advantage of foreign education. S simple example. I went to anatomy class in Russia. The teacher comes and asks a question. Okay, you have to read all the f 50 pages of that particular subject to answer that question. Okay. Even if you mugged it up or if you memorized it, you will not because the question, the examination pattern itself is different. Here okay. you have to write thesis, no? Like yes thesis, sir, your yes books sir. and pages and pages you write. There you have to ask, did it okay. They will sit in front of you and ask a question, you have to answer. If you don't answer it, you are fail. Understood? Which means if you don't understand the subject, that 50 pages of information, if you start as I'm suffering from fever, this is the that of the other one is equal to V square. If you don't like that, <laughs> you are fail. Okay. They will ask you, this particular nerve starts from your brain and ends in your uh, feet. While it goes from your brain to the feet, where does that vein shake hands with that particular artery My God. and no, they will ask you to question. Unless you study the whole thing from yes, that to yes, reason, sir. you cannot get, get that answer. Create the foreign education, the abroad education creates thinkers. Uh -huh. It creates scientists. That is the reason we find a lot of scientists abroad and very minimal scientists in India. Mm, Sorry yes. to say that. If it is a, if there is a scientist, you will become president yeah. in India. There, every student will have a, every school will have a scientist. Every yeah. college will have a scientist. It is not the problem with the brain of the Indians. It is the problem with the education system of Indians. Even Ramanujam has to go to abroad to prove his uh, intellectuals. See, so... And they only understood his intellectuals. Only an intellectual understand an intellectual. Yeah. So, how, so you can't evaluate an intellectual if you are not an intellectual. If you are a fool, how can you ev evaluate an intellectual? Yeah. True. So that, that happened. So I suggest you send your son and daughter abroad for higher education. See, you do a gra low graduate here. For higher education, let him s go there, have more ideas. And come back. Come back. King Peter, no, who came yeah. back from Europe yeah. and created a, a big empire, uh, empire in uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. So that is how uh, it goes, madam. Oh, excellent, sir. Very good piece of advice. Seriously, if you are looking for some great advice, I think this will help. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Dear parents and students, I hope you all got the information very well. Uh, I am satisfied. I hope you are satisfied. Hope this interview is useful to you and to your career. Thank you so much. Until we meet next time, Angela signing off. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.